Hi, I'm Tim Herman from 3D Molecular Designs, and I'm here to introduce a series of videos in which we will explore the science of coronavirus. So at 3D Molecular Designs, we create physical models of proteins, like this model, or other molecular structures like this uh, coronavirus model, or a variety of hands-on instructional materials that are designed to introduce students to this invisible world of molecules. So if we're going to explore the science of coronavirus then, we'll use physical models of some of the coronavirus proteins, like this spike protein, or physical models of, of the entire virus. This is a schematic model of the coronavirus. So these magenta colored proteins on the outside surface, this is a spike protein. Here's a detailed three-dimensional model of the exact three-dimensional structure of one of these spike proteins. You're going to make your own physical model of a coronavirus, and then you'll be able to use that model to explain how this virus infects us and how we might interfere with that infection cycle with a vaccine or with some antiviral drugs. The third kind of material that we're going to, we're going to use in these videos something that we call molecular landscapes. And these are watercolor paintings that are created by our colleague, David Goodsell. And these represent images of what the inside of a cell might look like as a coronavirus is attempting to infect the cell and replicate itself inside that cell. Or uh, another landscape that focuses on how antibodies that are created by a vaccine who recognize this virus, how those antibodies might interact with this spike protein to prevent the infection cycle. So those will be the sorts of materials that we will we'll introduce and use to tell the story of the science of coronavirus. At 3D Molecular Designs, we have a poster, and it shows a very complex model of a protein. And the poster says, life is complicated. Let's deal with it. So I want to, I want to, emphasize that from the very beginning. This is, uh, we're going to be talking about complicated science, but I don't want to scare you away with that because it's not, uh, it's not horribly complicated. It's fantastically complicated. So we're going to present a simplified story of how this virus works. But I want you to understand at the very beginning that this is just this is just a, a light story. We're just sort of hitting the high points of how this works. And there's a lot more complexity that we're not going to try to go into in this short series of videos. <clears throat> but as you work through these materials, I want you to pretend you're a scientist. And one of the main attributes of a scientist is that they are skeptical. So I want you to be skeptical. I want you to wonder if there's really more to the story than what we've presented in this simple story that we're going to tell you. Because I guarantee you there's a lot, lot more. So we're hoping to present how this virus works sort of in broad strokes. But at the same time, I challenge each of you to think more deeply about the simple story that we're telling. <clears throat> 